Coming up, Jonathan investigates the wreck of a boat that allowed horses to walk on water. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. It's a beautiful day for a drive in Vermont. The Blue World team is taking a road trip out to Lake Champlain to do some wreck diving. Lake Champlain, the 13th largest lake in the U.S., lies on the border between Vermont and New York State. We're diving with Waterfront Diving Center in Burlington. Over the past few days, we've visited the wrecks of historically significant canal schooners and less significant but equally mysterious deep water wrecks. Today, we're exploring one of the most famous wrecks in the lake, the Horse Ferry. In the early 1800s, before steam power was in widespread use on boats, animal-powered vessels known as team boats were used for short ferry crossings on lakes and rivers where wind power was unpredictable or ineffective. Horse-powered ferries were slow, but reliable. The wreck of a horse-powered ferry in Burlington Bay is the only archaeologically studied example of a turntable team boat in the United States. Our day starts with suiting up at the shop and walking over to the marina. Let us hoof. Such a long walk. Our dive master, Sheila Cooley, brings the gear in the truck and we load the boat. Soon we're off in a small dive boat with a 150 horsepower motor. We take for granted how many horses fit on this boat. The weather has turned a little rainy, but we don't mind because we're going to get wet anyway. Well, let's go check out this wreck. Woo! What he said. What he said. At the mooring, we drop 50 feet to the bottom and follow the guideline from the mooring to the wreck itself. Hey, everybody. Have you subscribed? The Horse Ferry is part of the Lake Champlain Underwater Historic Preserve, and it's extremely fragile, so we won't touch it. This site is also very silty. Sheila demonstrates that one wrong fin kick could ruin the visibility for hours. So we have to dive with perfect buoyancy control like cave divers. The first thing we notice as we swim over the wreck is the turnstile that the horses walked on to transmit power to the paddle wheels. The deck planking is long gone, but the wooden beams that comprise the frame of the boat are still intact. Nobody knows exactly when this boat was built or sank, but given the general time frame that horse ferries were used, we know the wreck is probably at least 150 years old. So given their age, the paddle wheels don't look too bad and they still look like paddle wheels. Over at the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum, archeologist Chris Sabick gives us a tour of the horse ferry exhibit. They have a working model of the turnstile mechanism, showing how the turnstile is kind of like a treadmill crossed with a hamster wheel to turn a drive shaft connected to the paddle wheels. Underwater, we can see the resemblance. The 
neck is covered with freshwater sponges and invasive zebra mussels. Zebra mussels are native to southern Russia, but were accidentally introduced into the Great Lakes and have made their way all over North America. They get their name from the distinctive zebra stripes on their shells. Zach and I hover carefully over the wreck, looking at the remains of the mechanism while keeping our fins way up to avoid disturbing any silt. Finally, we make our way back to the mooring line and the surface. Man, that wreck is silty, but you can still see the turnstile where the horses walked. You know what's amazing? It was two horsepower. The wreck of the horse ferry in Lake Champlain may not look like much, but this unique piece of history may very well be the only such example of a horse-powered ferry of this type surviving in the world. So it represents a unique opportunity for people to visit the past in the blue world. Hey everyone, have you subscribed to our extras channel, Blue World Plus? It's full of great behind the scenes and additional fun content. Check it out now.